Hey, what's going on? What's going on? <clears throat> Happy Friday. To, Happy Friday, yo. Um, shout, out, shout out to... Um, want to start off, this is another episode of The Reporter. want to start off with a shout out to the uh, organization PACO. And uh, with their fish fry tonight, uh, good food, <laughs> good fish. <laughs> Man, oh man, it's been a while, boy. I swear it's been a while. Shout out to him. Uh, and, uh, sponsored by Greater Bathroom, 834 South 3rd Street. But like I said, uh, whew, man. can't beat it. You know, <clears throat> but uh, shout out to them, uh, and uh, tastes good. <laughs> tastes good, but. From uh from fry, uh tasty fried fish to, to the first story I guess the first and only story tonight uh, uh, at lunatic uh, uh, I ain't gonna call him a lunatic uh but uh the president uh, signed an executive order pretty much giving the uh, uh, the abortion uh, uh I guess you can say uh parole <laughs> parole. And uh, not new on this uh, on that situ- in that situation because we'd be surprised what uh, some people do for to be politically politically correct. And that's what it's all about. They will literally sell their soul to be uh, politically correct you know, among the people, <clears throat> even at the risk of uh, of uh, morality, which is. Uh, which is like a bodily function. So somehow there were uh, people in authority. Some people, some uh, people, not all will risk morality so easily. That's to be uh, politically correct among the people. And uh, so uh, anyway, uh, the prayers uh, signs of President Biden signs of executive order. Like I said, pretty much giving the. Uh, the abortion issue of uh, parole, uh, or in other words, uh, uh, to fit in uh, with the uh, with the nation uh, once again, because that's what it's all about. When uh, when somebody has power, and <clears throat> they, they 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 will sacrifice their morality, sacrifice anything uh, whatsoever, just to fit in with the nation. But when it's all said and done, morality wins in the end. Because when you boil down, you know, or you truly look at the meaning of the word abortion, it is murder that has been covered up by the Constitution of the United States starting from 1973 to now. Yeah, it, it, to now and to when it ended. But the uh, president has tried to they decided to give it life, or life, well, or let it out of the prison on parole. And uh, but it's a that's the time we're living in, folks. So, uh, where, like I said, morality is a willing sacrifice to be politically correct, to fit in <clears throat> with the crowd. But I don't see how how in the world, you know, knowing you're a parent. Can you uh, allow this? Uh, allow this justified? Well, you you know the, the meaning of, of abor- abortion. Allow justified abortion. Uh, and, and you are a parent. I don't see how in the world can you uh, see your son and justify that. Which I'm pretty much saying. How can you look at your daughter and justify that, even for a little bit? And that's what his uh, executive order is, even for a little bit, giving it life for a little bit. But uh, but all it takes is the little foxes, the little foxes to ruin the air, to uh, keep a monster alive. And that's what it is. And that's what abortion is. It's all it takes is a little a uh, little uh, uh, little oxygen, uh, little oxygen to keep a monster alive. Instead of sticking by, sticking by your morals, being different, instead of going along with the program, 
But that's the world. That's the way it is uh, these days. But thank God for the difference. Thank God for people that want to maintain the difference. Cause so, like I said, somebody has to be the good guy um, uh, among the many. You know, yeah, somebody has to be the good guy among the many. Uh, like I said, uh, the, uh, the, to be, uh, do my imitation of a parrot. <laughs> but uh, but uh, seriously, uh, it's a sign of the times we're living in, and uh, and it's and it's somehow people will, will justify uh, this. And sitting uh, in in a blue haze, uh, not knowing what they're really talking about, or not caring about the moral uh, aspect of what they are talking about, and that's and that's what wins in the end, and that's what wins in the end. Morality, morality wins in the end. I don't care if you're the president. Archbishop of Canterbury, or whoever you may be, morality wins in the end. Because it, it's go, well, when it's all said and done, we all gonna be standing in front of a, a big old mighty God that seen all when we think we uh <laughs> when he think he he wasn't seeing all, and from the president on down. But it's it's something else. How how he. he, he People in power can stand in front of the nation. They stand there in a in a blue haze of of self righteousness, and pretend that they're doing the right thing by being politically correct. By being politically correct, but sooner or later, the politically correct nonsense is going to get old. It, how something's gonna speak louder than the uh, than the decision to follow after uh, follow after the crowd. Then the decision of just being politically correct. The results are sooner or later gonna speak louder and louder. But that's the risk of uh, people are willing to take. You know, they think the results are not gonna show up. They think the results are gonna be soft like like uh, kittens. But um, I don't think so. Every decision has a result. Every decision has a consequence. Whether you're a leader or not. And it doesn't matter if you're a leader or not. But uh, this is all I got. Uh, this is another episode on a Friday. And once again, shout out to uh, the Paco... Uh, sponsored by the Greater Bethel Temple, 834 South 3rd Street, for their fish fry tonight. Loved it. Loved it. <laughs> I swear it's been a while since I had some, uh, some, uh, some fish, especially fried, because that's the best kind. <laughs> I swear. But, uh, uh but, uh, yeah. Well, like I say, what uh, shout out to them and uh, and uh, keep it up. That's all I gotta say. When keep up in goodness, <laughs> Ooh, we can make a living off that. Yeah, that's good. Whether you add salt to it or not, and shoot. <laughs> Oh, uh, shoot, but y'all have a good one. Uh, prayers to, uh, to the family of the Japanese uh, Prime Minister. Got assassinated today. Unbelievable. Been quite some time since assassination has been mentioned uh, over uh, over the airways. It was as far as in our country and outside of our country. Uh, especially over in Japan. Wow. I think since uh, yeah November twenty second, nineteen sixty three, this has pretty much been the last uh, uh, modern day, uh, I guess we say assassination. But uh, prayers to his family because he uh, does have a family. Prayers to him and prayers to that country 
Did they uh did they uh recover and uh you know, sooner or later. I have a good one. This is another episode of of, uh, of the reporter on a Friday. I'm gone.